Hey, what's up everyone? How are you doing today? Welcome to another episode of As Far As The Eye. We're going to carry on with our campaign here, with Chapter 4, The Greatest Pie in the World. This sounds yummy. You know by now that pupils love food. Some of them have very refined palates. Learn to prepare delicious and nutritious dishes and improve your pupils' culinary talents. Meet nice pupils and recruit Billy the Baker in a joyful adventure of buddies and taste buds. Pupils are omnivorous. They eat almost anything. They go to prosperous regions where food is never a problem. In some regions, the lands are dry and agriculture is not an option. In those areas, all tribes have a trapper. In other regions, game is rare. Pupils in those areas generally grow crops and don't eat meat. But throughout their exodus, pupils must learn to adapt to any biome they come across. They eat what they can find. Between two halts, they often walk for a long time before being able to stop and restock. They often need to leave with a large stock of food to not fall ill during their travels. Often, the smaller tribes carry fruits in their bundles, enough to keep everyone fed. But as soon as the tribe gets bigger, it is not uncommon to see new silhouettes. Pupils become cooks and prepare in much more nourishing rations. Since the beginning of the Exodus, Raha, Yu and Sudas have only eaten raw pepkins. None of them has ever had to cook. However, during their voyage, they excitedly spoke about all the succulent dishes they would find at the great meeting. Such variety, such flavour. The three travellers can't wait to get to the eye, the large banquet tables and joyful songs. Sudas is particularly looking forward to the prospect of meals, sometimes even dreaming of the banquets and fresh, hot loaves of bread passing between hands. Here is your caravan, along with the three pupils. The tribe has just arrived at the halt and has chosen a strategic location to set up. They still have some pepkins in stock, but there won't be enough to feed everyone before leaving for the next halt. The tribe is almost at the eye, just one final effort. The tribe will need to go through a mountain pass. Progress will be slow. They will need a lot of rations to stave off hunger. You'll also need to keep warm and some crampons to safely cross the icy, icy mountain top. Looks like we're going to need some people and some ore. The tribe needs to prepare 300 rations to make it through the pass. Given the resources in this hall, Raha has already built a bakery. The bakery is a building that lets you make rations using cereals. Bread is a base recipe that all pupils can make. Build a farm to harvest cereals. Pepkins can always be consumed without being cooked. You can harvest some more if the stocks are getting too low. So I've already got a bakery. So I guess that's, yeah, that's here. We need to build a farm. So who have we got? Sudas, Raha, Yu. So you're the best gatherer. You're the best stone gatherer. You're the best builder. Okay. Well, we don't know... Oh, that's a farm. Is that a farm? Plane. Plane. We can build a farm on plane. Farm. 70 wood. Yes, we have some wood. Oh, there's another one right there. Cool. Let we build that on that. That's right next to the caravan. Um, you're a gatherer. So gather some pepkins. You can gather some wood. I'll wait for that farm to get built. How many pepkins we got actually? 264. Okay. Right, so farm is built. This is a quantity of cereals on this fertile soil hex. When it reaches zero, this hex will no longer be usable for grain. You will need to build a farm elsewhere to keep harvesting grain. Cool. So now it says assign a pupil to harvest cereals. I think what we'll do is we've got enough pepkins at the moment. So I think I'll get you. I'm doing the cereals. I think I'm going to keep the one that's gathering the wood, gathering wood. I'm going to use our builder here just to um, explore a little bit more. So what's this say here? I'll start making rations from cereal. 
Ah, oh, this building consumes wood. Each town of people works there. Yes, yeah, so we definitely need to be stockpiling that wood as well. So I've got another pasture thing here. Farmland, plain even. That's some stone. We've got peeps for wool. Okay, okay. Um... That pasture's got loads on it still. Lots of wood in the wood place. We've got a little bit of cereal, so we could start doing that now. What do we need to get to the next hill? We need our rations. Oh, we need people and ore. Okay, well, let's get Sudas building. Is it pasture here? Yes, yeah, start shearing peeps for people. Even though we've got that, I think I'm going to gather a bit more wood first. So we need wood to make this cereal. I just want to make sure we've got enough stockpiled. Make cereal, make for rations. Crap. We've only got 12 pepkins left. Um, make bread really quick. Are we all going to die? No, there's rations there now. Good. Keep making rations. How's our wood? Wood's okay. Cereal's okay. used me a lot of these rations there we have it we now have cereal in stock Ra can now start producing bread yep I've done that oh Ra Raha's got to get assigned okay let's get Sudas chopping that wood then assign Raha to the bakery A recipe for bread uses 20 cereal to produce 36 rations. If there aren't enough cereal in stock, Raha will stop producing bread until there is enough. The bakery is fueled with wood and will burn four per turn spent producing. Make sure we've always got some wood. So they'll always eat the rations before pepkins, but consume six per turn. Whoa, so not only do we need to produce for 300 to get to the next halt, we've got to have more than that so they can eat it. Right, cereals is going down just a little bit. Oh, you're still harvesting cereals, you're still harvesting wood, you're still baking bread. Okay. Oh, a friendly caravan has arrived at the halt. It's another tribe of pupils on the journey. This caravan is not halting here, they're simply crossing the region. Tribes that meet on their way to the eye often help each other out, so it's always worth the time it takes to meet with other pupils. The friendly tribe will offer help in exchanges, assigning people to go meet with them. Um, who's collecting the wood? We've got a lot of wood at the moment. Let's do that. Sansudas. Hello! Whoa. Each meetup has three options. You can only choose one, so choose wisely. Raha, you and Sudas could do with some extra help. Billy, a member of the friendly tribe, would like to be helpful and accepts to join your tribe. Recruit Billy. Yes, I think that's definitely a good shout there. The tribe has grown bigger. Welcome, Billy. Billy is now part of a tribe of four pupils. Raha looks at Billy attentively. There is now one more mouth to feed in the tribe. Billy consume, as everyone else, six rations each turn. Billy is an experienced baker and knows several recipes. The cook has a high level, though recipes will be more efficient and produce more rations compared to the resource cost. Raha offers Billy his spot in the bakery. Assign Billy to the bakery instead of Raha. You can unassign a pupil by moving them. Okay, so... 
Raha. Let's see. Best gatherer. Best stone gatherer. Let's just get you on the wood for now. And where's Billy? That's Sudas. Hey, Billy. Oh. So we can do bread. Pepkin cake. Cute fruit puree. And gingerbread. Right, so that's using ingredients we don't have. That's 20 pepkins. Let's make 51 rations. That's 20. That's 20. Yeah, it's 20 pepkins, not 20 cereal. Okay. That's 20 cereal to make 54. That's 12 of each. I think we'll just keep knocking out bread. Alright, does everyone have something to do? Sudas doesn't have anything to do. Let's get you grabbing some wool. You can't have more workers than available places. Pupils without housing? What? Um, I don't get that. Let's get you that. No. Let's move it all on one. Your caravan only has three sleeping spots. Pupils can be quite picky. I'll only work if they have somewhere to sleep. If you don't find a space for a fourth pupil to sleep, they will eat six rations per turn like the others, but will just sit and twiddle their thumbs. Camps are appendices built on a rhinophilo. They follow the caravan between halts. Tents are not a sign, so the only thing that matters is the total number of beds compared to the number of pupils. The last pupil assigned will be born without a bed. Build a camp to make everyone work. Okay, so I can't just build one. I've got to get a rhinophilo first. And he's not actually going to do it, is he? Because we haven't got the bed. Um, will you even build? No, he won't do anything. So he's bacon. Raha. I guess we can't build a camp straight off the bat. Nice, no, so we need the rhinophilo. Oh, we need the wool as well. Okay. Um. Hmm. Let's just move you to there for now. I hope that caravan will move. On pupil, there's nothing to do. You're going to work. You're moving. You're baking. He's got nothing to do, but he won't do anything. He will know. Why, why, why will you move, but you won't? Okay. You will now. That's weird. See, this one now is going to do nothing. Yeah. So Ra's just going to sit there and not do anything for a bit. Need to wait until we've got a little bit of peat wool. And we should be able to make this camp. Oh, we need the um, we need fifty people, and we need to get Brian Offalo as well. Okay, so you carry on, get another bunch of people. How are we doing for everything else? Rations are okay. We're still okay for wood. Hopefully, one more. And we got our wool. Yep, so that's our wool. So I'll go get us a Brian Offalo. Still okay for wood. Okay, yep, yeah, that's okay. That just means we've got Brian Offalo. That's fine. Right, so we do. We've got Brian Offalo in stock now. Build camp. Is that an instant build? No, constructed. Okay. Now, I know Raha's our best builder, but Raha's the one that's not doing anything at the moment, so we can't get him to build. Right, the four pupils can now work. Brilliant. Everyone will be able to get to work, assign a task to the lazy pupil. Choose the recipes for Billy and harvest the necessary resources. 
Try to make enough rations to get to the eye. Leave the hope before the waters rise. Cool. So, let's just check. Sudas is the one that's best at... Oh, you are now the best builder of the tribe. Interesting. Oh, okay. It always was the best one. This is me being a Wally. Right. So let's get you getting the peat wool. Now we also need stone. We might have to build... Oh, no, it's not stone. It's all we need. Okay. All mine. 100 wood. Hmm. Is there anyone gathering wood? You're doing the cereal. You're gonna go get the wool. You're baking. Let's get you gathering a little bit of wood first before we build that. So I don't want to run out of wood and not be able to make the rations. Okay, 200 wood. That's enough for now. Mine. Okay, serial resources depleted. Okay, so that's gone. So that's set. Okay, should we destroy that? Cool. So let's you build another farm, please. Oh, running out of wood. Yeah, let's go for that one. He's got nothing to do. Your building. Aha! Okay, so let's you get a little bit of wood before you start in that mine. Back on with the cereal, please. Right, we've got enough people now. So I think what we've got here, you're best at gathering, stone gathering. Let's just put you in the mine. I know it's not quite stone. So, so far we've got plenty of rations. We've still got cereal and a little bit of wood. We've got all our peat wool. Just need to get the ore and keep enough rations in stock. What's going on here? Okay, we've done that. Done that. Done that. We know our new people. Let's carry on. Forty-two turns left, so I think we're going to be okay. How much ore's left here? Let's try and get the rest of our ore before we move. Cereal. Plenty of cereal left in that field. 20 more ore. Cool. So let's... It's weird. Let's get rid of that. So we don't need that anymore. Now, we've still got a few turns left. Still quite a bit of cereal over there. Our wood supply is okay. I think what we'll do is we'll um, harvest just a little bit more peat wool. Right, 
I'm not doing too bad for wood at the moment. So let's get you. Can we build Cory? 100 wood? Yeah, that'll do. I know we're building over a pasture there. But I think we're going to be okay for food. I think if it comes to it, if we run out of cereal there, we can always harvest some pepkins and change the recipe in the bakery. I just figured if we go into the next halt, let's take as many resources as we can. We don't have any stone, so we can take a bit of stone with us. That'd be quite cool. Do you have to keep an eye on the wood? Oh, we've got way more um, wool than we need. So let's get you on harvesting wood now. now don't want to run too far towards the end I think I'll call it there let's get everyone back in I think that's everyone Cool. One, two, three, four pupils all at the caravan. Let's go to the next bit then. It's going to be interesting to see whether all this goes in actually. Do 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 There we go. Oh. Oh, crap. Well, we're not, definitely not going to take the bakery with us, unfortunately. So I don't think there's any way we're going to get this in there. Now, I assume you can't... Can you rotate these? You can't rotate them or shimmy them about. Hmm. No, that's it. I mean, even if we could shimmy them about, there's only one block free, so there's no way that bakery's going, is there? That won't go under there. No, okay, let's have to leave it behind. The eye is so close, you can almost see it from here. But an endless plane separates the tribe from the protective cirque. Sudas knows that trying to cross this plane without preparation would mean saying goodbye to the banquets of the great meeting. Oh no. Help the tribe set up in the best possible conditions. Install the appendices, bend the buildings. Help them in their last halt and save the tribe. While the caravan is not yet installed and the pupils are still on its back, they ration out the food and only eat six rations in total per turn. Don't hesitate to explore with the caravan to find the ideal spot. Okay, so let's explore a little bit. It does say, feel free to explore, but I don't want to explore too much. Since Billy joined the tribe, Raha can't stop watching the baker at work. A deep fascination for Billy's harmonious and skillful movements, conjuring up delightful dishes with a disconcerting ease. The whole tribe is... Oh, I should have maybe read all that before I was moving. 
This monument is a sacred site. These places are filled with spiritual energy and allow pupils to commune with the spirits. The spirits will only listen to one request, so choose wisely. Pupils can pray and the spirits will help them in their journey by offering some resources. Pupils can make a grand offering to the spirits who will generally recomp recompense the devotion. Finally, pupils can pillage the site and take the previous tribe's offerings. It's an immediate gain of a large number of resources that vexed spirits will make the tribe pay for the transgression. People can always choose to do nothing and come back later. The sacred site will not be consumed until an action is taken. Okay, I'm tempted to kind of explore that last bit, but I don't want to use too many turns up on moving, so I think I'm just going to plant myself here. Now... Who's our chief builder? I think it's Sudas, isn't it? The best builder of the tribe. Right, let's get that camp down first. And then we know that, um, blah, 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 all four of the pupils are going to be working at least. I think we'll get you gathering some pepkins just for now. You can gather some wood just for now. I don't think. Should we see if we can build a harvest town down here? Ah, oh, no house, so that one can't work yet. Okay, let's get building. Cool, our camp's built. So let's see if we can build a farm I think we want next. Start getting the cereal in. Now this one here can move. Let's get you just exploring that patch quick. Cool. Let's think what we got up here. So we've already run out of rations, but already into pepkins. So let's just gather a few more of them. Okay, so our pasture thing is done now. So let's actually get you collecting the cereal. So Sudas can go build something else. What are we going to need? I don't know, actually. Let's just gather a few more pepkins for a bit. Wait for that cereal to start coming in. But we don't even have a bakery yet, do we? Okay, so those resources have all gone. What do we need to build a bakery? Oh, we don't need anything. We've got everything we need. Brilliant. Let's plunk that there, then. Oh, we've got bits over here as well. Find spices and cook even more nourishing dishes. Oh, okay. How are we doing for food? Mm. Too bad. Billy. Bake, Billy. Bake. Right. So, how about we get you to explore the sacred site? So we're starting to get on top of the food. Offering, no, we don't have that. I don't want to plunder. Let's pray and get these um, spices. Now, what can this person be doing? What do we need? We need peat wool. So we could do with um, a sheary thing here. Pasture. Yeah, because then there's two two patches we can shear from there. How are we doing for food? We're still okay for food. In fact, I think we're doing alright for food. In fact, are there any more planes? There's no more farmy planes. Ooh, we're gonna have to think about that then, aren't we? How much have we got on here? 420. Okay, we've got enough to, to last this for a little bit. Pepkin's gone, Bev gone. Remains. Okay, that's another remains. Done the sacred site. 
That's another one. Sudas is now an architect. Give the buildings a bit more HP. Right, who's not doing anything? Let's get you grabbing some wool. Trying to keep an eye on all my food and everything right now. You seem to be doing okay. Right, we've got all the wool we need. So I'm going to send suitors down here to explore the remains. So still okay for wood. Got our peat wool. Food's okay. We do need to get some ore in a bit. Sudas follows the smell of paper and parchment. These ruins are an ancient place of wisdom. In one of the few legible books, Sudas learns new techniques for communion with the spirits. Well, new isn't the best description of these techniques, and Sudas is left having to unlearn some of what they learn. Accumulated experience as a fruit gatherer is lost. Oh dear. Oh, that's a friendly caravan. Can I give him a little wave? Right, a caravan of pupils passes through the area. Exchanges with this group can be fruitful. This caravan seeks trade. 150 spice for 100 wood. This caravan is equipped with a weather forecast system. In exchange for 30 rations, they will forecast the next unknown vagary. Ooh. I like the idea of that. And just some trade. I mean, we can get more spices, but... I don't know, I quite like to know when this vagary is, to be honest. Termites. Okay, so, what's it say? Coming from termite mounds built in a jungle, termites are very hungry today, and it turns out some buildings have the wood they dream of. All buildings adjacent to a jungle lose 70 HP. Oh dear. Well, it's a good job we did recover some of our HP. Right, so Sudas has got nothing to do at the moment. Let's just get you gathering some more wood for a little bit. Okay. Is she going to automatically go gather some more? I guess she is. Yeah, there we go. How's this doing? That's on the half. So we've got to get some ore in a little bit as well. We've got to be wary of that. Right, I'll let um, Sudas here do one more round of the wood. Take it back to the caravan. There we go. Pardon me. Tell you what, it's taken a little while for the cereals to come in. So I think I'm going to get Billy over here just gathering a little bit more wood. So we're okay for wood, but we're burning wood when we're making the food. And we're using it to build our structures with. It'd be nice to just have a little stockpile of the cereals. Ready to bake with. Now we've got 114 cereal going. Let's get Billy back to here. Now, our optional objective was to gather some spices and make some different food, I think, wasn't it? So, what uses those spices? The gingerbread. Let's make a little bit of gingerbread. Okay, so we're out of wood, and we're out of cereal now. Gather wood. No, 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 we're 
give me pipkins. So we need to have a lot of rations here. Okay, so Billy can't make the gingerbread anymore. We're out of resources. So let's make some of this pepkin cake, which uses half of the cereal. Just to try and get a few more resources out here. I think what I'm going to do is once this... um Oh, all the ore's gone. Okay, um... Yeah, let's gather just a little bit more wool. Alright. Termites in one. Okay. Ore's gone, that's fine. Let's just get rid of that. Oh, it's still not too bad for food, but it is starting to get a little down. Okay, here's the termites. Everything's lost some HP. Right, one more load of wood from you. Gonna get oh, another vagary. Big mosquitoes. Okay, we want to start thinking about getting out of here soon and ready, don't we? Before all these vagaries start turning up to muck us up. Let's try and get another bundle of pepkins. Um, Billy, you're gonna have to bake something else now. Pew puree. There we go. You know what, I think I'm going to wait for you to get back from this gathering of pepkins. I'm just going to get out of here. Alright, for wool, the resource is gone. So that's going to mean someone's not doing anything, possibly. Whoop! I didn't get a chance to read that. But I'll go. I'm just going to get them all back. Don't want to be fighting all these vagaries. Is everyone, isn't it? I believe so. Move onwards towards the eye. Definitely got ourselves enough wood, didn't we? Army. That's a weird shape, isn't it? That wall's in a four. Cool, that's close. Only just about got it all in. There we go. Victory. Finally, the tribe has reached the eye. Shortly after getting there, the pupils barely realise Sudas has vanished. Raha slowly follows Billy to the centre of the village, where they meet the expert chefs and bakers of all tribes, who prepare various dishes, each more delicious than the next. It's an incredible choreography to see this troop of cooks work in harmony. Raha is astonished and timidly tries to join in. Billy welcomes Raha with a smile. Like a secondary instrument in a great orchestra, Raha feels uplifted and transforms to fit in this greater whole. Sudas, hiding from sight, grabs various tarts passing by and stuffs them in their mouth, joyful tears in their eyes. It's all so much better than Sudas remembered. Yu takes the time to nap in the shade of the orchards to the south of the island. Tonight, the celebrations will be at their peak. For now, it is time to savour this moment of calm where the only company Yu needs is the breeze. Wow, that was pretty cool. I must say I did struggle a little bit on that. I kind of had um, a little bit of a death 
but I sorted out with the joy of editing. Uh, all my all my pupils starved again. But um, yeah, I'm finding this game really fun. The, the resource management is real, though. You do have to keep an eye on everything. But let us know what you guys thought of that, please. Give us a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Some comments would always be great. Lovely to hear from you. Stay tuned for the next one, which I think is going to be the last chapter, if I'm, if I'm right. Um, and enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.